Hello, my name is Kate Warner and I'm the care manager at Doncaster School for the Deaf. Dixon House, the registered children's home, opened in 2002 to provide specialist care and support for deaf young people and children who attend Doncaster School for the Deaf. The homes can accommodate up to nine young people at a time, six in Dixon House and three in the North Flats. Placements are Monday to Friday, educational placements or 52 weeks a year placements. Dixon House and the North Flat provide a home from home experience. It caters for the individual needs of the residents. Young people are supported to grow and develop and achieve their dreams. The staff team who work in the house are fully qualified, have a wealth of experience of working within the deaf community and all communicate using British Sign Language. Dixon House is inspected annually and for the last five years it has been recognised as outstanding. One young person who has benefited from the outstanding provision here at Dixon House is Sudio. She moved here in May 2016 and has recently transitioned into her own flat. So you've stayed here at Dixon House for the past five years. How have you found it? What's it been like? Yeah, I've stayed here for the past five years at Dixon House and it's definitely been like my home. Yeah, when all the staff and the students are with me, um, you know, it's definitely built my confidence, you know, everyone signs, so everyone feels included. It feels like a family. So when you say students are here Monday to Friday, what about yourself? Oh, I stay through the weekend as well, so I'm here Monday to Sunday, but some students stay Monday to Friday. Tell us what you've learned at Dixon House. Oh, Dixon House and all the staff here have definitely showed me how to, you know, improve my life skills. They've taught me how to cook, clean, um, everything really. Yeah, and then when other students join, I've shown them how to cook and clean just as staff have showed me. Oh, I, f I completely agree. You're a fantastic role model to the other students. So you've recently moved to your first new flat, so you're properly independent in your first, first real home. Tell us, you know, how all the staff have supported you. Uh, at first I felt quite nervous, but you know, as I've been there, I've definitely felt my confidence grow. I know how to pay my own bills, cook, clean. But, you know, if I have any problems or if I'm struggling with something, I know that I've got staff here at Dixon House who I can always rely on to help. So I'm just asking, at your new place, how do you know if the fire alarm goes off or the doorbell goes off? Oh, so I have deaf equipment. So I have a doorbell, um, I have an alarm and a pager, and it's on all the time. So if an alarm goes off, like the fire alarm, for example, through the night, um, it flashes and vibrates. Oh, so do you feel safe? Oh yeah, completely, I definitely feel safe. And are you still going to college? Yes, yeah, still going to college full time, Monday to Friday. But Friday is a bit of a half day. How do you get to college? Oh, I use the bus, I've got a free bus pass. So you're in your own flat now. Do you think you'll miss Dixon House? Oh, of course, I'll definitely miss Dixon House. You know, I'll definitely miss all the staff, all the residents and the students. You know, they've helped me and supported me over the past five years. Will you come to visit? Yeah, I'll definitely come to visit Dixon House. Will you come for tea? 
yeah, I'll come for tea on the evening. And I'll say hello to all the residents, have a chat and a catch up. Oh, I know all the other residents love it when you come for tea. It's lovely to see you again. Yeah, when I uh, come over for a tea and have a chat and a catch up, when I'm about to leave all the other residents, oh, we're gonna miss you, we're gonna miss you. Oh, I'm gonna miss you too. Oh, well, you know you're always welcome here at Dixon House. Oh, thank you.